Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey guys, we are in our Math Expressions space station, and something happened. Something funny. <laughs> well, I don't know about funny, but we told the number one not to play with the buttons on the other side of the door. He must have touched something and is now locked out of the main compartment. Hey guys, come on, let me in. We told you not to touch anything in there, but you did not listen. Okay guys, we are going to get him out while you take some time to learn about mathematical expressions. Reading and writing mathematics can be tricky, so it's important that we understand key phrases so we can interpret expressions correctly. Let's look at an example. Subtract 8 from y can be written correctly using only numbers and letters, as blank. When we subtract a number from y, we will write y first, then the subtraction symbol, followed by the number 8. In this example, y minus 8 is the correct expression to represent subtract 8 from y. What is another way to write 4 times the variable t? The key term is times, which means to multiply. We can write for times t, or in a more simplified version, we can just write 4t. When a constant is next to a variable, the implied operation is multiplication. Use the formula a equals 6s squared to find the surface area of a cube when s equals 6. The area would be blank unit squared. This problem is asking us to evaluate the formula when s equals 6, so we will substitute 6 for s and compute. We want to follow the order of operations by evaluating the exponent first. 6 squared is 36, and 6 times 36 is 216. The units are square units because the problem is representing surface area. The surface area of the cube would be 216 units squared. Let's fill in the blank with the correct mathematical symbol. If you want a quotient as your answer, then you are going to blank. The keyword is quotient which is the answer to a division problem. Therefore, the correct symbol is the division symbol. How would you write the sum of 7 and h subtract the product of 3 and g using only letters and numbers? The first part of the sentence says the sum of 7 and h, where the keyword is sum and that means to add, so we can write 7 plus h. But then the sentence says to subtract the product of 3 and g. We want to focus on the keyword of product first. Product means to multiply, so in this case we want to multiply 3 and g, so we will write 3g. And then we'll go back to the word subtract, and we'll write a subtraction symbol between our two expressions. So we started with the quantity of 7 plus h, and then we subtracted 3g, or the product of 3g. Good job. How would you best say this expression Translating an expression into words is done so just by how we read the problem out loud. 
The first part of the expression is read as 7 divided by g. Then we have the second part of the expression, which is read as plus 3. Putting it all together, we have 7 divided by g plus 3. Okay, we can now open the door, but hang on to something because the pressure might be strong enough to pull you out really fast, okay, number one? Please just let me out. I am so bored in here. Just open the door and let's see what happens. Oh! You really need to listen, dude. Thanks for joining us today. If you have a chance, check out the math game at magemath.com. Glad you could learn more about writing and reading mathematical expressions. See you next time. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.